Well, hello there, my absolute darlings, and welcome to Wednesday's video. We're on the fourth part of the Rosenberg's house for Let's Build the World. And we're going to be getting it all complete today. We're going to be upstairs in the bedrooms. I may do a couple bedrooms or a bedroom off of camera because I'm going to try and get all of this into one. But I will make sure to show you guys the finished look um a few little changes from last time as well we'll have a little look at that in a minute we had a rather exciting ex um game pack announce yesterday very much looking forward to that one i will definitely be doing a review on it i'm actually going to stop doing trailer reactions on my channel i'm just finding them a bit saturated everywhere and i'd rather just concentrate on keeping my reviews if you know what i mean so i'm going to be con don't worry i'm still going to be doing a full pack review for this one and um, the new supernatural paranormal pack stuff pack from the sims 4 i'm looking forward to it looking forward to it for um probably other reasons to a lot of people out there the sofa to be honest that's it that's the only thing i'm looking forward to I'm joking. I'm kind of semi-excited for the gameplay. I love kind of ghost hunting programs and stuff. But I, I'm always left a bit ugh, deflated from the gameplay. and but So I'm not going to have any high expectations for it. But I will be doing a full pack review. So you can be sure that that's going to be coming out before the pack releases. So be on the lookout for that, my loves. Be on the lookout for it. So yes, let's stop waffling on about absolute shit as per usual. Um, let's get building. Okay, my loves, back at the Rosenbergs. Now, a few little changes have happened since last time. I've changed where the orientation of where the TV was. I just didn't like it up there. And I saw a couple of you guys say, put it down here. And I thought, why didn't I not see that first? Like, for goodness, there's a much better orientation for it. Put a console table behind the sofa. It just looks a little bit weird without one um the kitchen i've changed the siding here so i've just put one of these cupboards up and i've put a full coffee machine underneath of underneath of it i'm just wondering if i can move that down just a little bit more around about there yeah there we go and i just think it works better it works much better being there i'm wondering if i could put it off to the side actually i just don't like the way that it kind of floats this cabinet do you know what i mean I think it almost needs to be connected with the underneath here. I don't know why, but yeah, we'll do that. It's a bit, it's cutting in the littlest bit there, but I'm going to forgive it. I'm going to forgive it. Um, so we've done that there. What else have I put? I've obviously put a bit more um, clutter up on the shelves and whatnot as well. And um, we've done the, di oh Christ, we've done the dining room. So it's just nice, nice and minimal as we were going for this place, but it's still got that homey kind of Hamptons esque farmhouse vibe and i like it i do i fucking like it put the toilet in as well just a single toilet and a nice little sink down there too um decorated this hallway also changed the curtains i've changed the curtains for these base game ones the minimal ones these are the only curtains that i like in the game really but they just come in awful swatches the white and the beige is probably the only ones that i really like the rest of them can that one's not too bad and neither's that one but I went for that vibe and I just think it looks a bit better. And then obviously we've got the home office. So this is Maeve's home office. She's a stylist. She works from home. Um, so she needs her own little space to be able to do stuff. So that is exactly what I've got. I've got all of the stuff that she may need, including a couple of cameras, um, a little like, um, what, do, what do you call this? A designer samples. Got one of them. And then obviously we've got Chance's bed of shame. He's down in the cot. They're not their marriage is not going well so this is where he tends to say and he's got clothes it's a bit messy it's a bit messy but that is where he sleeps so yes i i think it's running quite nicely now this house and also the garage i've put a little like bit of fitness equipment in here a nice little sports car some lockers and whatnot and some clutter including a stereo um i just think it's nice nice and plain very minimal this house and i'm very much for it so today what we're doing obviously is the upstairs look at the lighting in here we'll sort that out don't you worry um and we've also got these two bedrooms to do as well so we might be okay for time i might be able to do them all but i'm not promising anything so we're gonna crack on anyway look at those bloody banner stairs poker so shit isn't it 
so, so shit. Why can't they fix that? I know I moan about it all the time, but I just think that ruins being a builder. Stuff like this just ruins it. It really, really does. And it winds me up. And don't get me started on that colour. Don't even get me started. Anyway, here we are. Into the bedroom. Very weird sheep. Sheep? Very weird sheep. Ah. Very weird sheep bed. I said it again. A very weird shape bedroom. <laughs> but I might, we might be able to make it work. I might do a little... Can I do... Oh, no. There's a window there, you bastard. Can I get rid of that window? Can I get rid of you? Not really, because you're going to be off balance. Oh, you bastard. I was thinking about making that into a little dressing room. I mean, I could come out here and make that into a bigger dressing room. Let's do that. Let's do that first. So let's get the grid on and I'm going to do a nice dressing room there. Stunning. A nice dressing room because the bed's going to go here anyway. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. Let's get, let's sort the lighting out while we're here. There we go. And then I'll put some new lights in once we've chosen which lights we're going to go for, darlings. How are you all doing today? I hope you're well. Um, You're amazing. You're worth it. You're doing great. Just wanted to say that. I think it's, sometimes it's needed, that kind of little pick-me-up, shall we say. What am I doing? Where am I? There we are. Um, I don't really like that one. I don't really like, oh, we've got this. Oh, no, that's a bastard bloody medium height. This is shorter height up here as well, so we need to be a bit different about what we use. I think we need to go for a squarer one, though, so it might have to be this one, which is a shame. This one's a bit too long. Um, I could maybe make it work, though, so maybe if I put that there, let's... Let's have a little look at that, shall we? Yes. And sorry, last time there was lots of in my audio. It's because my microphone was too close to my face. Um, and I haven't got my pop filter on anymore. I've got the smaller mic. I just prefer the way that it looks. Anyway, here we are. Bedroom. So I think I'm going to go for uh, quite a classic looking bedroom. Not so much ornate. Maybe a little bit more semi-modern. So maybe the... This bed here. Would, oh, see, that's going to fit in there quite nicely, actually. Won't be able to probably put any bedside tables in. I might try and squeeze some smaller ones in if we can. Um, That's not a bad colourway, but I think oh, we're not going to win with the swatches here. I can tell already. The white's too white. And everything else is just... It's just Sims, isn't it? It's, you can't put it down to anything. Thank God for custom content creators, because they are saving the build and buy objects in the game. Hello. My name is Aiden, and I like to complain about the Sims 4 build and buy items. Good day. Because I do. It's a it's a mantra for me, you know. I like to complain about the build and buy items, the Sims 4. Because I, th I think, and this is coming from love as well. I love the game. I think the developers are amazing. Um, But I think you have to. I think sometimes you have to vo voice your opinions. Voice your opinions if you're not enjoying something. The Snowy Escape Pack. Oh, they got it right. They got it right there. And I think they're finally listening. I'm going to retract that statement until I've seen the new pack. Because I saw a few of the build and buy items. And I was a bit like... Okay. <laughs> okay, I can tell from there that the swatches and that are going to be ghastly. <laughs> but... Hopefully, they learn. Maybe for The Sims 5. <laughs> I have hope. I have hope and dreams so i've gone for the stools the stools are from laundry day laundry day? nope they're not they're from jungle adventure do excuse me and these lamps here from the vintage glamour stuff pack i like that a little mix of things you know didn't want to use up too much white here so i just used a bit more of a like a timber color with them i'm feeling a tapestry behind the bed for some reason i hope it's got i'm sure it's got a plainish swap oh the blue works in here probably a bit big though maybe if i size that down slightly oh the blue does work in here it complements those yellowy beigey tones in here quite nicely yeah i like that yeah yeah i do enjoy it okay um this is screaming out for a dresser in there even though we are doing oh this is going to be a bit of a tight squeeze to get things in because of the the length of the door um 
I may actually, yeah, that looked a bit too big anyway, to be honest. I'm going to go a bit smaller, I think. I'm going to go a bit smaller. I just had to check up his recording again. I just had this premonition in my head that I wasn't recording. That would have been a trash. An absolute trash. Yes. Yeah, that's better. Because that gives me a bit more space on this side then as well. The walking wardrobe. But we will use a dresser here. And I think... How high... How high is the dresser? Oh my god, my stomach is rumbling. I'm not even that hungry. I've had crumpets today, for goodness, and a banana. For goodness sake, and what, what time is it? It's 12 in the afternoon, and I'm starving. Um, that, This is what I was thinking, but no, it's going to cover too much of the window, and it does not make sense. We do need a kind of plainer looking... Can I use you in a, like a, a lighter timber colour? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm not sure about that. I think that might be a little bit too industrial for this bedroom. Yeah, it is. It's a slightly little bit too industrial. I think we need to go a bit more classic. Ooh. Oh, God, the swatch is on this. Oh. Um, no. No, that's not right. Slight little bit of mid-century. I think that kind of works in here, especially the tones and stuff. I think it works. It's a shame that it's covering... Well, the windows are quite high anyway. I mean, that is the point of where the windows start. So it doesn't really bother me too much but I'm gonna go for that I think that suits him with a bedroom quite nicely I do I bloody do I tell you what I do anyway <laughs> oh, anyway I've had a few of you people asking about how my gusto delivery went and it was very nice I had the first one yesterday I had um shut your ears all you vegans and vegetarians I had ginger beef noodles Spicy chili ginger beef noodles. And they were amazing. Amazing. Absolutely loved them. Even though I was rushing to cook them. Because I've just been interviewed by a magazine. An online magazine called Gaming Magazine. That is G-A-Y. It's a magazine for everybody in the LGBT community. And they interviewed me last night. And it was very nice. Very nice. Um, I tried to keep the filth to a minimum. I did blame a lot of you guys for the filth. I will admit that. <laughs> I did. I did. Said, yeah, my community is so filthy. I don't know where they get it from. <laughs> uh, I promise I did say it was from me. <laughs> We're all filthy together, you know. We're a family here. I'm going to use this sofa in here as well, I think. I'm going to put it down. Oh, look at that jaunty angle. I'm for that. With a little floor lamp behind it. And I think we'll hit that with... Um, a mid-century lamp behind there as well. Yeah, that kind of works in here nicely. Anyway, yeah, I got interviewed. It's out on Thursday as well. I'll, be, I'll make sure to let you guys know on Twitter. So make sure you follow me on Twitter as well, guys. Make sure you're following me on all the things, Instagram and everything. Um, For reasons of, I just want more followers. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> but it's places where I don't tend to tweet out my builds and anything anymore on Twitter. I've stopped doing that. Uh, I'm going to keep that a space just for me blurting off. Oh, that wood turns a bit too woody. Oh, Christ, that was a great... Can I use a bit of black in here? Oh, I could, but I need to bring a little bit more black in here. So if I use this behind here, I do like the black in here. It's kind of bringing down a bit more of that depth and then maybe change these lamps up a little bit. Oh, please, please. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yes, but now I think I need to change that a bit slightly darker. No, maybe not. No, I'll keep it blue. Yeah, no, that's nice. Just a little bit more black in here. I maybe need something up there to kind of frame that in as well. Um, But yes, I'm excited. I'm excited about being interviewed. But, and he was really nice as well. So thank, if you're Ed, if you're listening, thank you. I had a lovely time and I probably said a few stupid things. So make sure to edit them out for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, what one's what one goes with this one? There's a chair that goes with it. Where are you? There she is. Uh, I don't. They wouldn't need another chair, I don't think, in here. You know. So I think I'll leave that one like that. I think a bookcase in here could work. So let's choose a nice bookcase. I think a nice bookcase in the bedroom would look lovely. Maybe something a little bit more fashion. Or not even a bookcase. Something like some... Oh, I know what. I know what. I know. I know what. This... No, not you. The other one. Where are you? Where are you? Hello? 
It's me. Don't sing, AJ. Do not sing. Um, This one here. But can I warm this timber up slightly? No, no, no. Oh. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. Again, this is slightly more industrial than I wanted really in here. But I think it works. So I'm going to go for it. We're going to change the lighting as well in here. I think a statement light would look lovely in this bedroom. So I'm going to maybe, I'm just thinking, maybe the kind of origami looking one. This one here. Maybe this one could work in a slightly darker color as well. Let's have a look at that. Um, uh, I mean, I mean, the black looks nice. I'm just trying to mix a bit more contemporary in here. Contemporary and mid-century. Maybe. Let me have a look at a few more and we'll see what I decide on. Hmm. A few things changed. Uh, the black was just flaring me off everywhere. So I've actually lightened this up. I'm just going to go for that wood tone. Um, use the same lights as downstairs as well. Main reason to being every time I was putting a bit more of like a black accent in here, this was throwing me um, the blue on that. And I just wasn't for it. Really, really wasn't. Look at the lighting over it. It's so shit. So I'm going to put some I'm going to put some lights behind here, actually. Some wall lights, just some plain the ones from Spa Day, just to bring a bit more brightness over to here. Oh, actually, I could use these in here, couldn't I? These would look great in this room. If I can do like one... What's the height? What would be... Yeah, that's a perfect height there. Um, One more needs to come over here because of the lighting. These are massive, these objects. I'm so glad we can size stuff down. Size stuff down. That was hard to say. The shadow on this. Stop it. All the shadows as well in The Sims 4. We need to get that sorted too. I'm thinking a plant. I'm thinking a plant underneath the window here. I think that would look smashing. <laughs> really would. I'm going to flop one just that I always use you. Let's use something a little bit different. Well, not a little bit different. Let's just use you. <laughs> a nice pop of green there, I think would look lovely. Yeah, that does look nice. Move you along a little bit though, the love. Love. Um. Okay. Okay. I'm thinking up here, maybe a nice thing of flowers or something. Oh, the one. Oh, a little bonsai tree. That could look cute in here. A little bonsai. Yes. Oh, that does look nice. Yes, a little bonsai tree. Again, she's very minimal. She likes her house very... Um, just clean and airy and nothing on show too much. And I think that's the vibe we're going to go for here. That is really throwing me this here. One second. Okay, so I decided to go for the base game one. It was just too... In, I know this is industrial, but this has got like a lighter aesthetic to it. And I just prefer it in this room um and i've gone for a little like stool down here as well i think that looks better that looks better and it just fits in with the room a little bit more i think yes i'm for it okay into the dressing room i'm thinking they need like a walk-in wardrobe but i know what those walk-in wardrobe look like and they're hideous i really wish that this pack wasn't so overstyled I just find this pack a little bit too, uh, and I mean, I can't even use that one because it's got gold on it and I don't want to use gold in this room, really. Um, I mean, I think I'm going to, I'm going to use it. It's not exactly what I wanted to prefer if this was silver on the sides here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I'm, and do you know what? Actually, I may even be able to use these here instead. Because I could use two of these in this room then. And they've got like a silver plainish one, haven't they? Hope oh, you have this one. Yeah, I think this fits in with the aesthetic in the room slightly more. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to do two of them now. So at least I can get like two ones in. Two wardrobes in. And then I can get a mirror maybe in between them. Hopefully. Hopefully can. Let's get these pushed as far as they can go in. Thank you. And you. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah, they, they're much better. They're much better for this room, I think. Okay, so you, you're too big. I'm going to use a white one of these as well. Just put it... Oh, no, I'm not. Maybe I could do it there. Okay, that mirror just wasn't working. So I've gone for the base game one instead. And it is cutting in slightly to the wardrobe. So I may be able to sort that. I may be able to. Just a little bit more anyway. 
Um, is that as far as you can go? No, you can go in a little cheeky bit. Oh, piss off. Piss all the way off. I've had it. I'm just going to let them. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Yes. And then maybe I need, it needs a runner rug in here. And I think the one that I used downstairs would work quite nicely. So I use a little runner rug there. Gorgeous. I'm going to change the lighting in here as well. I'm going to use the same lighting as what we've got in here. Pop you like there right by the mirror and then I'm going to do another one of these in here as well and put that over on this wall I think there we go and maybe this wall too let me see let me see how far did I put you along you were like there let me see that oh this fucking camera I wish it would stop rising <laughs> yeah no I like that but it just it needs an armchair in here now I think I'm going to use that armchair that I didn't get to use out there and pop it in here in the same spot as what we've got out there as well. So one of the wardrobes would only be able to be used, but you only need one wardrobe anyway, darlings. It doesn't matter too much. I am going to push it into the corner like that, though. And they would, in real life, you would be able to get in that. That door would open snugly. Really would. Yes, that's cute. Yeah, I like this bedroom. I think we're kind of done here. Is that brightness too much there? No, it's just because I have my cursor on it. You know, when you put your cursor on a room and it brightens up. I hate that. Um, yeah, no, it's nice. Okay, I think we'll move on to one of the other, one of the kids' bedrooms. Okay, I think we'll start with Odin's bedroom. So Odin is a bit of a lad. Bit of a lad. Um, I, I think he's, I've made him as like a sports enthusiast as well. As in like sort of rock climbing and skiing and stuff. So I kind of want that to come through in this room. Like it doesn't have to, I don't want to go for the typical teenage boy like sports, like, but, and the same with the aesthetics in here as well, like the aesthetics, I want to keep within the house. I don't want this to show too much personality apart from maybe posters and stuff. The actual styling of it, you can imagine Maeve would be all over that. So I'm going to try and keep it with that kind of like vibe coming through. So I may go, ooh, um, I don't, I don't hate that. I don't hate that in here. That's too blue. I kind of, oh, oh, that one's quite nice as well. Hmm. I feel the one that we had was better. Yeah, we'll go for a bit more of a darker blue color in here for Odin. Yeah, I think that's a good spot for where the bed would, should go. Um, I'm going to do a little chest of drawers in here as well. I may go a little bit more, not industrial, but that kind of vibe in here with the furniture. Maybe he got to pick his own furniture or something, you know? Um, so maybe I could use something like this. Still want it to be slightly lighter. I mean, that works. Yeah, we'll use this one. We'll use this one. And make sure to get it away from those windows. Do you want to get a wardrobe in here as well? Uh... I might put the wardrobe over here, actually, and we'll just use that one from City Living, and we'll use it in a white. Oh, no, we do need to bring a little bit more of that creamy vibe. Oh, that's not the vibe. Maybe not, then. Maybe you. Yes. This one. Do I want to push it towards the door? Or towards here? Towards here. And then I think I'll make this little, like, desk area over here somehow. Um, oh, would that work better? No. Hmm. Need to think. Okay, so I went for the same mirror as what was in the dressing room. And I've also changed the... This was just throwing me, like, the warmer top to it, to the rest of the room. So I've gone for the Ikea one instead. And I think I'll match that in with matching bedside tables, too. Oh, Blue, that's a very loud snort. He's getting annoyed because he wants to go out for a walk. And I will take him in a minute. I will take him in a minute. Um. So, yeah, I think I'll use these... Look at the size of them. Oh, God. It winds me up. <laughs> it winds me up. But you guys know that by now. <laughs> Everything seems to wind me up. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. I'm going to try. I don't know if I can fit like a punching bag in here, but I'm going to try and get one in here. And I'm going to give him a gaming chair as well. I would imagine he is into a bit of gaming. He's definitely got a gaming PC anyway. So I'm going to flop one of those in the room as well. Um, is that a good orientation for it in the corner? It kind of is. kind of works. I'm going to go for it. Hopefully, I can get 
a boxing thing in here and you should be able to use it. I remember with these things, they don't really need as much room as you what you think they do. Um, so I'm going to maybe put it like there. And then I can put some um, things down in the corner. Definitely need some trophies. I would imagine him as a bit of a sportsman with his trophies, skiing and whatnot. I, these would be the type of parents I would imagine that would take their kids skiing for the holidays, you know? You know, those, ki those kind of parents. <laughs> Tories. <laughs> right. Um, let me find something. Okay, the little sports set, I think, down there. Excuse me. But I also think some of the stuff from Snowy Escape would work in here as well. So let's have a little look at what we can get. Because we need some of those, um, like, snowboardy look at like this. I think would look great in here. Where could I... Oh, perfect. Perfect place for it there. Oh, yes. And I like that swatch as well in here. But I'm just going to have a little goosey goosey go. Oh, no, that one's better. Yes, we'll pop you there, my love. Oh, you've came in a, you've came in handy. You really have. And do you know what I might use there as well? I'm going to use the snowboarding table as well, like this one here, made out of a snowboard. I think that would be pretty cool. Oh, that swatch is great in here as well. Yes. Oh, this is working out a dream, my loves. Working out a dream. That's probably a little bit too far in. So there we go. Let's pop you to there. Oh, I'm for that. Really am. Right, is there anything else that would kind of pay respects to snowboarding? We've got this as well, the mountain thing. With all of the climbing stuff on. This could work. That swatch there is quite great. I could pop this in the corner over here. With all of his like little bits on. Yes, I'm for that. Very much so. And, oh, let's make this house a no shoes house as well. I think that would be pretty fitting. Where's the entrance? It's here. So I'm going to try and hide this maybe i could pop it outside actually <gasps> yeah we'll pop it outside no shoes take your shoes off i would imagine she'd be all over that move um and yes this is kind of coming together nicely now what other things could i get in here this little object we're putting this down in the garage it's got all like the skis and stuff that the family probably use i like that a little snowboarding poster as well behind the bed. We'll do that as well. Oh, very, very nice and for it. A couple of table lamps in here as well. I think it looks smashing. Use the ones from Snowy Escape. Um, I like it. I do. And I think we need just like a nice plain rug under here as well. Just a nice like plain rug that is not too bright in the colour. Just something maybe just to soften it in here because it's very white, isn't it? Oh, is that a bit big? No, that's fine. Yeah, I think so. That tone doesn't work too badly. I'm just going to have a little look at the others. Oh, that one's better. That one there is much better. A little bit of a brighter white one, but with a darker edge, just to bring a bit of texture into the room. Yeah, I'm for that. I really am. I think what he needs is a stereo in here as well. Um, I think I'll give him a, like an Alexa. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Very sorry. <laughs> uh, do excuse me. <laughs> I always forget that. It's because I just feel like I'm in a room talking to a friend. And I kind of am. Because you're all my friends. And I'm for it. Okay. So we got him a little cheeky... We're going to call it Debbie. We're, what is it actually called anyway? Lindsay. Oh, I didn't even know it was called Lindsay. Well, Lindsay. We've got a Lindsay. Lovely. And I think Maeve would say you are having a bunch of flowers in your room i don't care i get these freshly delivered from the forest every week you will be grateful i don't reckon she's that kind of mum. <laughs> but i would say just have just have a nice plant in your room love there you go nothing too like no that's this one this one here just have a little plant in your room here just bring a bit of freshness in he's against it but he's got it and that's the mantra Okay, and a plain light in here as well. Just a nice, plain light. Um, yeah, like this. Just something nice and soft. There we go. There we go. Makes the room very dark, weirdly. So I am going to stick a spotlight underneath of it as well. And just size it right down so it's not annoying. There we go. Lovely. Yeah, no, that's nice. I like that room. Again, 
it's still allowing him to have his personality with the stuff and the things in his room. But I still think it's kind of fitting in with the house. Um, I do not like this bed cover personally, but in this room, I think it goes quite nicely. Uh, just a little pop of navy in there. So we're going to have time, my loves, to do the final bedroom as well, which is very exciting. And what I'll do is I'll furnish the bathrooms off of camera um, and also the hallway. And then I'll show you that at the, at the end as well. Okay, so into the lovely Elsie's room. So Elsie is very much a kind of little mini me of a mother. So she's very fashion forward, very fashion forward. I think that she would have a double bed. I don't know why. I just think she would have a double bed. And maybe this one. Maybe we could do some yellow in here. Um, I just think this one here's got kind of kitschy, if you know what I mean. It's kind of kitschy. And it'd be cute for a kid having this in their bedroom. Um, definitely want to get the cloud light in here because what child's bedroom do I not put the cloud light in? I mean, we can't use it anywhere else really. So why not, you know? So I'm going to flop a couple of the cloud lights in. In differing sizes. I'll do two there and then maybe a little cheeky tiny one. A little, a little, oh, quick, quick. <laughs> That's the wrong one. A little cheeky, cheeky. Cloud, is there? Oh, Elsie would love that. She would. She would. I'm <laughs> so sorry. So sorry. I'm going to keep apologizing for me using my voice thing because it will get old fast. <laughs> But as long as we're having fun now, you know, that's all it boils down to, darlings. Really does. Anyway, it's bedside table. She doesn't really need a bedside table. She's a kid. Maybe I'll do one bedside table and then a nice bookcase on the other side. That could be a thing. So, oh, yes, this could work. Oh, no. Do you know the one? What, yeah, this one here. This one here would work in this room. There we go. We'll do one bedside table there. And then on this side, I'm going to do a nice bookcase. That's rugs, Aiden. A nice bookcase in her room. Um, again, maybe slightly kind of kitschy and like childlike. I hate this one, so I'm not using that. We're using that one. <laughs> oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. We're going to use this one. Oh, can I pop that in yellow? Can I do that in yellow? Oh, no, it's a bit too much. I think we need to go white. I think we need to go white. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so she's got some books. She's creative as well, so she definitely needs a creative table in here. We'll give her a little chest of drawers in here. And maybe the same wardrobe as her brother. I think that would work. And I think with the chest of drawers, maybe we could match it in with the bed here. And they have got that one, haven't they, from um, the outdoor retreat. Pa oh, you bugger. You don't come in a white, do you? I hate you. <laughs> All right, darling, calm yourself down. So maybe this one in white. Yeah, this one would work in here. Yeah, we're going to use this one. So going a little bit more classic in this room, but I'm for it and I'm all doing it and it's here. Okay, so she's got that. She needs a homework station where she sits and does her homework. I wouldn't imagine her having a laptop and computer. I think her parents would say, no, you're too far too young for that. So I'm not going to put one in her room. I am, however, going to do that creative table. So let's get into kids. Let's get into kids. That's pets. I will be doing a Labrador as well, but I think I'll do that in the storyline. I think I'll bring a Labrador um, into the storyline a bit later. A bit later. So... The activity table, I think, from Snowy Escape would look good in here. Um, let me see. Well, I've never used this one, so I don't know what swatches they come in. Um... I mean, the plain white one is winning at the minute. So I think I'm going to go for that one. There we go. Stunning. <laughs> Stunning. I'm going to pop you there. Yeah, I think in that orientation there would look nice. With like a little toy box down here. Um, I'm going to do a wardrobe here. I think like there. In fact, let's just grab that wardrobe from his room now. Where am I? I'm here. This one. I'm going to pop you on that orientation there. That fills that space quite nicely. Uh, toy box. So let's get back to kids. Get the toy boxes out. I think uh, the toy box I want to use is a bit more like this one. But is it? Oh, it's got black all over it, isn't it? Maybe not then. We'll use this one instead. It's got bright blue on it. Do you have a muted color? No, don't fancy it. 
Green's not too bad. Yeah, no, that isn't too bad. Or you. What do you... Oh, God. What do you come in? Um, I don't really like that one, though. I mean, I don't really like all the toy boxes, to be honest with you. But sometimes you can't afford to be fussy, love. So you really can't... Well, you can. You can. Especially with The Sims. <laughs> you can afford to be fussy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that one. A little pop of green and blue there. Lovely. Um, she would need a mirror. She's all about image, and which is quite sad. Being all about image and stuff at that age. But um, maybe May, like Maeve tries to kind of water it down slightly. And she always tells her that she's beautiful. And makes sure that she tells people around her that they are beautiful as well. She appreciates. Yeah, we're going to go with that storyline for it. We're going to use this one because it'll kind of match him with the bed quite nicely. It is grey, but for some reason it looks much lighter than the um, chest of drawers that we were going to use from the same pack. I think we use that one there. Okay, this camera is absolutely infuriating. Okay. Okay, this is looking nice. Again, clean, tidy. I think she needs some shelving somewhere. Um, where can I put some shelving? Maybe here? Maybe I could do a little bit of... <gasps> I know what. Let me find it. And there we go. I just finished it off. I used this shelf here. I used this shelf from the kid stuff pack, is it from? It is, or is that the... Ch I don't know. Toddler or kid stuff. Um, I put a stereo up here. A nice little bunch of pink flowers as well. And I put a little pink panda on there. I might get that nightlight in, actually, because I don't want... Um, the Nightlight Legacy, is that it? No. What the hell is that? I'll find it. There we go. Sized it down, found it. Um, and I've put it down at that height as well. Just to stop the monsters under the bed. We don't want that happening. Um, but yeah, that room's looking nice as well. That I'll get my cursor off of it so the lighting doesn't mess up. But I like it. It's looking cool, even though that shelf is completely and utterly see-through. Why is this happening loads in the game lately as well? All the things are becoming see-through. Like, I don't understand. I need to fix their textures. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to furnish this off of camera, and then we're going to come back and do the final tour. Okay, my beautifuls. Here we are. We are back at the Rosenbergs. We are finished. Everything is complete. We've got Chance out in the garden doing a bit of gardening in this smart attire. We've got Maeve in her office doing a bit of style column work. So we're going to have a little tour around the house while they're in it. The kids are at school, so it doesn't really matter so much. I've got the fire on. It doesn't need to be on. It's spring. Um, that column's disappeared there for some reason. So, first off, the room where we started. The living area. The living area is complete. I like how it looks. Very fresh. Very modern. Very <laughs> um obviously the main entrance hall out into the kitchen that is still floating um it's magic it's magic i haven't installed the tool mod yet uh out into the dining area dining area slash conservatory very much for this out into the garden as well so it's got a lovely little garden area like a chance over there oh he's very hot i must say I'm like, oh look at the booty look at the booty on him me acting like I haven't did that myself. Where's the tree gone? The tree's disappeared, but there is a tree there. Nice little swing set out there. Lovely job. Lovely, lovely job. And then upstairs, what I did with the hallway is just kept it in style with the house. Just put a few little objects around here and there. So here we are. Chance is dying for a wee, I've just noticed. And into the master suite. So this is what we were doing today. Master suite is looking very fresh, very modern, very now, very in. Um, into their little dressing area as well. Nice. Little mirror behind there too. And then into their bed bathroom, which is just a generic nice little shower room, really. They have got a main, like, master bathroom. We'll have a look in there in just a sec. Um, stress teacher. I'll just do the reading, darling. Performance game, small. Well, it isn't life, really. Um... Lovely into Odin's room. So I like this room. I like the vibe that it's got in here. Very nice. Again, very clean, very modern, very now. Wish they would fix the mirrors in The Sims 4. Another bug for the list. The big list, may I say. 
and then into Elsie's bedroom as well, which is just this little cheeky number. I like it. Nice and fresh again. Very modern, very now, very in. <laughs> and then into the master suite. So I did like a his and her sink or her hair or a his and his or a them and theirs, you know. Um, But I did that, put that in there and a little bath there. And we'd made this into a bit of a wet room. So I put the shower open without any divider or whatnot. Um, but yes, this room is, this house is complete. The first house of Willow Creek, my loves, is done. And there we have it, my loves. We are done. If you hear snorting, it's because I've just to toad blue that he is going for a walkies. <laughs> He's very excited. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you so much for supporting me on this new adventure that we're going on, the Willow Creek adventure. We will crack on next week with the next part of this, the goth household. I've got very, very many ideas for that one. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. What am I doing tomorrow? We are back tomorrow with Design Me Devon, a really, really beautiful house that I have got from one of my lovely friends. Um, looking forward to renovating this one. I think you guys are going to love it as well. And then on Friday, we have got the Juno Birch house that I am making. So be on the lookout for that as well, my loves. I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight at 7 p.m. GMT. Unsure of what we're doing. We might be playing a bit of Sims. We might not be. I've un I'm unsure. We're gonna we're gonna crack on and see what happens. So, I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.